Hey family, how are you? Don't pay no attention to my hair because doing my hair was not an option this morning. Family, before we start this vlog, I want you guys to check out this YouTuber. Her name is Charvon. She's a full-time art now since the passing of her sister. She's a wife. She's also struggling with infertility issues. And she's on a weight loss journey as well. Let's check her out. What's popping? So I'm getting ready to make breakfast. But first, how are y'all? I miss y'all. Yeah. I'm about to show y'all the new pressed juice. Bye, honey. Hey, what's poppin'? I came to check out the new the new spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, Jay. Thank you. How you doing? Y'all together? Yeah, that's my husband. That's uh, that's Jay. Y'all look at run to the Walmart early in the morning. But honey, I'm just not at your regular, regular Walmart, honey. No, I am in Georgia's Walmart. <laughs> I'm in Georgia, y'all. Y'all, we here. Y'all, this is the new store. I'm really excited because this is hey okay y'all they got everything okay when i tell you everything everything it's like the walmart on steroids well better prices and better quality because it's what we all used to work here i mean look i know we back at our but this is nice though the this other was, store yeah the other store had burned down but you know they couldn't hold a real person down. Look at these. So this is like, you know, everybody got a messy, a messy closet. Well, yeah, my messy closet is this closet here. And it's mainly because when they redid, when they redid, and these are my extra tablecloths I have for the table. Just how did mail, just, man. I was so happy Leonard uh, put a load in for me. I was like, oh, look at you. Look at you helping me out. He put a load in last night, but um, he didn't tell me. Well, I forgot to tell him. It's not he didn't tell me. I forgot to tell him that I was low on detergent. If you guys was wondering how to get yourself featured in one of my YouTube videos, I am offering four slots four slots left for people who are passionate, dedicated, they're putting out that content, they're doing everything they need to do. They're just like, okay, why am I not getting these views? It's probably because people just isn't seeing your content. Not that your content isn't great, you just aren't being shown to the proper audience. I wanna give that opportunity to people who can't afford it. So I've cut it all the way down to $100 and I'm only offering five slots. There's only four slots left. And you can be featured in one of my videos and the world can be introduced to you. If you would like to inquire on more details about a YouTube mention, you guys can email me. My email is directly down in the description box below. I look forward to talking to you, friend. Let's continue on with this vlog. I've gained a lot of new followers over these last three months. I've gained uh, nine, a lot over 9,000 followers to be exact. I'm lying, a lot more. I really can't count like that. Math was never my thing. I could count money, but I can't do math. Uh, eight, hold on, see what I mean? I've gained over 24,000 new subscribers over these last three months so i felt that i needed to have this conversation because a lot of you guys asked me about it i am a very very transparent person if you've been here with me for a long time you'll notice i don't get embarrassed by much and if it is embarrassing i'm gonna tell it anyway because why somebody's story is just the same as yours never allow nobody to make you feel like you gotta dumb down your truth or you can't live in your truth because you feel less than we're very safe over here on this channel. With that being said, I posted a video of my weight loss journey and a lot of people was like, sis, tell me your secret. How did you do it? What did you do? And I would love to be one of those people who um, lie about it, but I'm not. I got weight loss surgery. I am now 
I got it last year, March. I got it in March of 2022. So March, January, February, March, April, May. So I am a year and two months post-op. I, before surgery, like I told you, <laughs> math and me don't, we're not friends. I weighed 275 pounds. Yeah, maybe 279. But 275 pounds before surgery, I now weigh 197. So whatever that is, <laughs> yeah, that's how much weight I lost. Um, I had VSG surgery, which is vertical sleeve gastric surgery, if that's what that is. But I believe that's what it's called. Basically, they took out 80% of my stomach. So they went inside, they put five holes in my stomach, and they took out 80% of my stomach. So my stomach was about the size of a newborn stomach. I didn't know much about the surgery before I got the surgery. I didn't know too many people who got the surgery. I didn't know anybody who got the surgery, to be honest. I complained about my weight a lot. I thought it was something wrong with me. I went to a nutritionist. I thought it was my thyroid. I, girl, I did everything. So I went to my doctor, kept going and going and going. He said, you you ever, you want weight loss surgery? You ever heard of VSG surgery? I said, no, what's that? He said, I'm going to refer you out to a weight loss clinic. He did that. First appointment, ball got rolling. They just was like, hey, this is a very common surgery nowadays. Believe it or not, it's very, 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 very common. And you're good. This is what it is. This is what it's going to be. Six months later, I was on the table getting my very first operation. Never been operated on a day of my life was my very first operation. Um, after I got the surgery, I came forth on my platform and I said, hey, I got weight loss surgery and this is what it is. All the people I knew was like, oh, girl, me too, girl, me too, girl. I got that three years ago. Girl, I got Why would you? I asked you like six times, like, damn, girl, you look good. How you losing weight? You told me you was smoking a lot of weed. You told me you was going to the gym a lot. You told me you was watching what you was eating. You told me you was on a diet. You left out the part that you got surgery. And that's what really pissed me off. I I don't care about nobody telling a business. Like, bitch, you ain't got to tell your business to me. I don't care. Your business is your business. But don't lie to me neither. <laughs> don't leave the most about. Damn girl, you look good. You lost 80 pounds in one year. How? Like girl, I've been eating good, going to the gym. Damn, me too. But I'm not losing weight like that. Don't leave that chunk out that you went and got surgery. Don't. Why would you not? You could have whispered it to me, bitch. I wouldn't have told nobody else. So come to find out everybody I knew actually had this surgery. And it wasn't from them smoking weed all day and forgetting to eat. So once I came forth, everybody was in my ear. Like, oh my God, you're going to die. It was so much. I was just like, listen, when I get through this journey, when I'm a year post-op and I feel like I'm qualified to come out here and speak about it, I cannot wait. Because people will drive you crazy. There is no right way and no wrong way to this surgery. Don't let nobody tell you that. Everybody body is different damn sure don't listen to me because i didn't do the vsg police before y'all get my comment section i'm telling you in advance you're gonna be triggered okay by this video i did not i did not follow a rule not <laughs> i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god you're eating a slice of pizza carbs bread your tummy no because that's how the vsg police act they protein shakes protein 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 girl i didn't do nothing I didn't follow not a rule the doctor told me and I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons that I have to this surgery. Before we start this video, let me just tell you guys, do I'm not out here giving no advice. Do not do what I did. <laughs> girl, I am not that girl to be taking advice from, okay? Oh, the pros that I have, I'm gonna start with the pros because the cons is much longer. The pros that I have with this surgery is you lose weight really quickly, really, really fast. Um, my personal pro was I don't have saggy skin. I know a lot of people who weigh a lot and they just drop the weight without working out or toning up. They have really loose skin. My arms always been like this. I don't think it's going to change. But like my tits aren't like saggy. My legs aren't droopy. 
I was fortunate enough. My stomach, my stomach always gonna be stomaching. It was stomaching way back when, it's gonna stomach now. It's never, ain't nothing that could change that but a tummy tuck, okay? I done had 18 kids. Nothing's gonna change that, okay? Other, that's a pro. Um, another pro besides the weight loss and me not having saggy skin, but, uh, that's about it. That's it. You ready for the cons? Okay. So the cons or the things I wish I knew before surgery, the battle of losing weight. Like I said, I'm speaking for myself. First off, let me advise you that I have an eating disorder. I have a food addiction. I am addicted to food. I eat when I'm happy. I eat when I'm sad. I eat when I'm feeling indifferent. Food is my comfort. I'm so weird with it. Listen, this is, told y'all, this is a feel free to judge me zone. I am so weird. Do you know I eat to keep myself up? Like, if I doze off to sleep right now and one of the kids wake me up and I know I got to stay up, I'll go to the kitchen and stuff something in my mouth. In the middle of the night, you know how normal people go use the bathroom, come back to bed? Mm, I go use the bathroom, take a pit stop, stuff some hard salami in my mouth, eating on the pickle, eating on the cookie, putting chips in my mouth. I sit up in the bed, eat pistachios. Like, I love food. I eat for no reason. And then if you put a, a plate in front of me and... I'm not going to stop eating until the plate is going. I could be dead good and full. I'm going to keep picking at it because I, I see it and it's in front of me. So I want it. Something that I wish I knew before surgery was this battle is 95% mental, 5% weight loss. The battle is all mental. When I tell you the mental torture I had after having surgery, when you have a food addiction and let's say you go on a diet, right? Before surgery, you could tell yourself, oh man, that food is no good for me, but I'm gonna dibble and dabble it in a little bit. I'm gonna cut it off, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take a little bite, I'm gonna cut it off and stop. When you have surgery, when I tell you the living torture I was in, I was, it didn't take the feeling away of being hungry. I was hungry. I was starving starving i still wanted food but i physically couldn't eat it you don't understand the torture piece of pizza right in front of you you're drooling you're smelling it you want it you want to bite it when you have a food addiction you think my stomach being this tiny would have stopped me it didn't i will pick it up put it in my mouth pizza cheese dripping tastes so good swallow soon as it hit here that's it i'm throwing up Throwing up became a part of my lifestyle. Not because I wasn't mentally strong enough to say, Jasmine, don't eat the food. You can't have it. Leave it alone. Everybody around me eating pizza, Chinese food, chicken wings. You think I'm going to want to drink a protein shake? I was eating it. I couldn't help myself. I craved it. I wanted it. Nothing, nothing was stopping me. The surgery didn't stop that. It didn't stop my cravings. It didn't stop my sense of smell. It didn't stop me from being hungry. But they're doing surgery on your stomach, not your brain. I needed to get myself together. Men I'm still not together mentally. I needed to grow mentally before the surgery, and I did not do that. I just got the surgery and just, oh, I'm going to lose weight. When I tell you throwing up became a part of my life, not because, oh, I'm throwing up because of surgery and VSG make you throw up. No, because I couldn't control myself. If I see you eating, I want some. If I see McDonald's, I want it. And I was getting it because I wanted it and I couldn't control myself. I would eat it and throw up. Eat it and throw up. That's all I did. And it became a thing. It, it, I knew things I couldn't have. I knew what my stomach could take. In the very beginning, when I tell you, it's like, I can't even describe how much you can eat. Like, I'm not even going to, let's compare it to something you're supposed to be eating. Because you're not supposed to eat french fries, pizza, and chicken like me. Uh, let's say you take a bite of a pizza. Literally, a, that's it. That's it. And you know how suckish that feel to have this beautiful big slice of juicy pizza that you really want to eat and can't because your stomach won't allow you. Your brain still want it. You literally want to cry. You're so hungry in your mind, but your stomach hurts so bad. You like, uh -uh. you know how it feels to be thirsty? It can only take a little sip. I started off in the very beginning only being able to take two ounces 
Two ounces was the most I could fit in my stomach. Now I could drink six ounces at a time. Listen, the mental game this surgery plays on you is no joke, right? That part. They say you have to take vitamins your whole life for the rest of your life. Again, friend, do not take my advice. This is not advice I'm giving you. I took a vitamin one time. I don't take pills. I tried the vitamin patch didn't work for me they said you need to take pills I'm not taking pills because I can't swallow them and I don't want them so I'm not gonna do it I've never took a pill besides that one time after surgery after that I've been fine not gonna lie to you I, I about the grace of God I'm an eater some people get this surgery and they can't eat I still can eat probably not as much as I could used to eat but I still eat enough where I'm getting in a sufficient, of vit a sufficient amount of vitamins I don't have a vitamin deficiency there was a time if y'all seen in my vlog very recently that I went to the doctor because I was suffering from a tiny deficiency in B12 but that was my fault the passing of my mom I stopped eating my whole body was out of whack that was that but other than that never had a vitamin deficiency and I've never took a vitamin. The VSG surgery, people gonna be like, what? No way, no way. Protein shakes, they say you have to get your protein. Protein, 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 that's all they preach to you. Protein, protein, pro protein shakes, protein shakes, protein shakes. Now, I don't like milky stuff, unless it's a pina colada with a double shot of Henny in it. I don't like nothing milky, so I'm not drinking. I'm not gonna do it. I don't like it. I don't want it and it don't taste good. So I'm not doing it. I don't, never did drink protein shakes. I eat chicken, beans, whatever got protein in it, I'll eat it. I'm not drinking a protein shake. I've never had a problem with my protein. But again, that's just me. I'm not saying that's you. Another thing they say about this surgery is like the weight gain. You're gonna gain the weight back. I've gained some weight back. I beat myself up all the time when I think about how much my stomach can do now. They tell you after you have surgery, a year after you have surgery, they, life is going to start getting back to normal. That's the thing. This is not a forever thing. I don't know who lied and told you that, but it's not. I don't know who told you you're going to get surgery. Your stomach going to be this tiny little thing forever. You're going to always lose weight. I could sit here and eat this pizza. My body going to throw it up or tell me to stop when I had enough. Mm-mm. I went from being able to drink two ounces of water. Now I could drink six ounces of water. Before, I couldn't even swallow a burger. Give me an hour. I could eat a whole burger. A whole entire burger. I could eat a whole entire slice of pizza. Before, a bite of pizza, I'm throwing up. I could eat a whole slice of it. It may take me an hour to eat it, but I'm going to eat it. I used to couldn't eat potato chips. I couldn't eat hot dogs. I, in the beginning, I couldn't eat nothing greasy. Sweets, that's the only thing. My stomach still rejects sweets and some kind of bread. Like, I could eat any type of bread but a croissant. I don't know what it is with croissant in my stomach. It touches, it comes up. But other than that, I could eat bread without a problem. My stomach and sweets is a problem. But I think that's because I never really was a sweet eater and the surgery just made it worse. Like, I always was the type to drink water. I was never... A juice drinker I never ate cookies chips I that was never like my thing so my stomach don't really care about sweets it don't really take the sweets but it don't bother me because that if you a sweet eater if you love a cookie a snack some chocolate it may mess with you a lot when it comes to liquor because when it comes to a drink I'm a habit the VSG police got on me really bad when I first had surgery I remember asking nutritionist asking the surgeon I can't drink liquor for a year. They was like, no, that's the worst thing you can do. Not liquor, don't drink liquor, not liquor, no liquor. I said, well, you sure? They was like, whatever you do, stay away from the liquor. Again, I'm not giving y'all no solicited advice. Don't do what I do. Baby, I got this surgery in March. My birthday is in May. I was fucked up in May. What is that? January, January, February, March, April, May. Two months post-op, baby. I was sipping on some scissors. Sure did. I'll never forget. I was in Atlantic City. I got my first cup. I looked at Kaisha. She looked at me. She said, baby, don't do it. I said, baby, I'm going to do it. She said, baby, don't do it. I said, baby, I'm going to do it. 
I sipped it, girl. I was one little sip. I was toe down. Remember, your stomach's so tiny. So one little sip, I was toe up to the floor. And I said, oh, damn. Liquor don't hit the same no more. And to this day, liquor don't hit me the same no more. That's the only problem I have. When I drink, I get drunk quick. Like, I... One little half a cup, I'm, I'm two-stepping, twerking, dropping it like it's hot, baby. So, if you're an alcohol drinker, another thing they say. Me, personally, I don't smoke weed. I ain't got nothing against you smokers. It's just something that ain't for me. They say you cannot smoke weed for a whole year, baby. And I remember being at meeting and people was like, I can't smoke no weed. No way. They say for a whole year. And if I was a weed smoker, would I wait? Hell no. I'd be right off the surgery table. Puff, puff, pass, nigga. But, like I said, don't do what I do. In retrospect, although y'all hear me not following the rules, I'm not a dummy. I'm not just out here breaking rules and living life and taking it day by day waiting to die. I go to the doctor. I get routine blood work. I make sure I check my blood count. I make sure I check my heart health, my head health. I keep up with everything to make sure, okay, I'm not deteriorating. I'm not, I'm not out here dying. If at any point when I went to the doctor, they would have said, you have a deficiency. Your blood count is weird. Your vision is weird. Your nose is weird. Your eyes is weird. Your ears is weird. Your heart is weird. I would have started taking the medication. I would have started taking my vitamins. I would have started drinking protein shakes. I'm not a fool. I'm not out here trying to die. But because it wasn't affecting me, I kept doing it. Another thing you may hear is your hair may fall out. If you guys haven't seen me before surgery, let me just stop right here and show you a couple before pictures. These are the, I'm, I'm gonna insert a couple befores. So as you can see, I have really, really pretty long hair. I didn't give my hair a chance to fall out. I wanted a haircut for so long. As soon as I, nope, I'm lying. A week before I got the surgery, I cut my hair. It was gone. It was off. So I cannot sit here and tell y'all about hair loss because I cut it all off before I had the surgery. So that part, I don't know. I cut it off. It grows back really quickly. I never experienced anything, but as you can see, it ain't much hair. So that part, I'm not qualified to speak about. Um, I didn't really elaborate on the cons i'm kind of dragging it weight loss was the overall general thing but since losing weight i feel so much better about myself i am healthier like i really my chest used to hurt i was a borderline diabetic it really did help with that i am now not at risk for diabetes a lot has changed my stamina the way i'm able to interact with my kids <laughs> the way i'm able to interact in the bed i mean that that was always lit but you know <laughs> that's for another vlog but i'm overall a better version of me if you never suffered from any type of obesity any type of weight issue in general i'm sorry to tell you but you cannot relate you don't know how it feels you don't understand how it feels like it's really hard it, it's it weighs heavy on you i felt this is me personally i felt nasty like and remember, I used to be a little small, baby. I was a little thickums. I wasn't always a fat ass. So when I gained all of this weight after Carter and couldn't get it off, my clothes wasn't fitting the same. I didn't feel attractive. I hated looking at videos of myself. I hated taking pictures. I was just so, eh. No matter how I wanted to dress, my clothes just didn't fit me right. Plus size clothes was not giving what I wanted it to give. Now, don't get me wrong. Plus size ladies are beautiful and this is some of the baddest females that's plus size are you dumb i mean bad as hell the way i carry my weight is not attractive friend you look good uh-uh i i mine wasn't given what yours was given yours is given nice thick and cute mine was crazy it goes to my stomach to my neck to my thighs no why they going to my ass and my hips and my tits like, mine wasn't looking like yours was looking. I wasn't looking as good as you. I was looking real bad. So, I'm happy that I did it. The battles that I face now after weight loss surgery is not gaining the weight back. And this is where the mental part kicks in at. 
because guess what nothing is stopping me anymore my stomach isn't this little restricted thing that i keep throwing up from it doesn't hurt every time i swallow bread it doesn't hurt when i eat a bag of chips so nothing is stopping me so just imagine going through all that surgery all that pain in the beginning because it did hurt to gain all the weight back again and feel like crap no matter what you do no matter how you do it you cannot get around the fact that you have to eat healthy you have to work out you have to have a lifestyle change that's just like women who go get tummy tucks and bbls and if you don't keep up with it guess what it looks disgusting you know when you get a bbl how much weight you gain after that that bbl weight is crazy crazy and then it's the fat transfer from your stomach to your butt so your fat in your butt reacts as if it's still in your stomach so you start to look gross and disproportionate you have to do the work don't let nobody on this internet get up here and tell you oh my god well i just went and you know worked out at the gym and got me a quick little bbl quick little tummy tuck light bulb snip and tuck uh now i'm no they have it look good but they have to keep up with that or they're gonna look disgusting why you think they walking around here looking like ants all the fat is going to their butt is growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger not matching their thighs is looking nasty there is no easy way out do i suggest the surgery if you feel like you've tried everything and you need that little oomph and your mental health is in order where you feel like, okay, I know I can do this. I know I can make a lifestyle change. I'm ready and I'm dedicated to changing my life. I really just want to lose this weight now while I'm doing it. Go get the surgery. Go ahead. If you think, I just want to lose 80 pounds. That's all I want to do. Ooh, I want to eat and I want to lose weight. That's it. That's all I want to do. You're going to feel it. You're going to be just like me. Back here. Figuring it out. What you gonna do now, sis? Cause now you still gotta work out. You still gotta eat healthy. You still gotta get control of your eating disorder. Nothing changed mentally. I just changed physically and that's only temporary. So what are you gonna do? Don't let nobody sit here and fool you to get on some operating table, think it's a quick fix because you're gonna be miserable. I'm telling you.